everybody. Welcome to Madden Science. Today we're doing a quick, hopefully quick, two-minute tutorial. Today it's all about bookmarks, how to use them, what they are, and how to organize your websites and online files. If you look at my toolbar up here for Chrome, I've got a whole bunch. So we're going to end up making this for our class. The period that you're in, AP Bio. This will be added to the top. And it's really a quick access for the websites and links that you need each and every day. So some of those are found here on our helpful links page. We've also got today's flow and a few other different online things that we use each and every day. Now if you look, we've got this tab which is organized for us. We've got some old school ones here in particular, AP Bio, organized by Big Idea. So if I want to look into evolution in chapter 24 on the origin of species, I can see each and every one that I've saved over the years. Now you can note that these are kind of like the file system that you've got on your computer, except for it's not your files that it's organizing, it's your websites. You can also go up here and click on these three dots, bookmarks, bookmark manager. When you do that, it will bring up this page. I can click on and off and you got these folders. So our bookmarks bar, if I click on that, is what you see right across the top. And that's what we're going to play around with today to start. If I open this up, I can look through exactly what you just saw. So if I go into AP Bio, and those are pulled up here, Unit 1 if I want, Chemistry of Life, or Intro to Bio, or back to Origin of Species. How this works is say, my wife sent me this article, really interesting, about evolution in elephants. So African elephants evolved tusklessness amazingly fast. This is from the Atlantic. Here's another one. It's from New Scientist. It's a shorter version. So maybe this one I read as background. This one I save to use for students to read. I can save this and have it organized by clicking this star here. I can edit bookmark. So if I remove it just for a sec and I hit add bookmark, I can put it on my bookmarks bar or probably better would be to choose another folder and I'm going to go in da -da 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 -da, all the way down to AP Bio, Evolution. I'm going to put in Chapter 24. Now I'll hit Save. You can also drag and drop. So if I just want to pull this onto this top menu, I could do so. And then I can edit what that says if I like. I'm going to delete that. What we're going to then do is say we've got these two in here. I could search those. Or if I have this one with a tapeworm. I can go in here and search these bookmarks for elephants and everything that I've ever saved with elephants will come up. Or say we want a different, more broad topic for evolution. Darwin. If I type in Darwin, it'll show each and every website that I've saved, that's a lot, that pertains or includes Darwin. You can change the title or the labeling of that if you like. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to jump to Canvas, or really whatever school system you're using, and we're going to make one of these. So if I go across, we've got all sorts of things, Spotify, NPR Science, New York Times Science, Science News. We've got some art things like Colossal or Biographic. You can add whatever you want. We've got a cool globe. might extend actually off the page. What you're going to do is click up here and you're going to add folder. And you're going to name that folder after your period, say you're in second period, AP Bio. Hit enter. Now yours will pop up over here. Since I have too many, it shows up at the end. So I'm going to drag it over here. And you're going to drag our Canvas page into there. So look what happens. Again, we're going to end up like this. These links will be in the description below. But this first one, there we go. There's our home page. Now, if we want to click on helpful links, we can pull that straight in. So grab this, drag straight in. Hey, now we've got helpful links to go on. Say we want to then do OneDrive or Remind or Online Textbook or Khan Academy or Pivot or Pocket Lab or Madden Science. Say we just want to do AP Classroom to start. I can click on this lock here and pull it in. And then we've got my AP login. So each and everything that you need and that we access 
quite often, either daily or weekly, is going to go in this little spot. And so you can click on it. I would recommend that you do it for each period. Just go 01, 02, 03, whatever class it is that you have in that period. And then you can structure the helpful links that you need for each and every class. All right, so your mission right now is to get your AP Bio bookmark folder going on your tabs. Let me know if you have any questions, everybody. Take care.